Welcome to Inexpensive Arms. I'm Steve, and today we're going to be taking a look at a heavy profile Bear Creek Arsenal 6.5 Grendel barrel. It is fluted 4150 CMV steel nitride treated, uh, mid length gas, and it does have 1 in 8 twist 5R rifling on it. Now, if you remember the last review, I was less than impressed with the previous barrel, M4 profile barrel. Um, I decided to try this one out just to see if it would do any better with a heavier profile and I am it's starting to grow on me to be honest with you so very briefly took it out to the range today used the same three types of ammo as before had the Hornady SSTs the Hornady black 123 grain ELD match and wolf steel case blasting ammo um, started out a little rough, but I was cleaning in between every five round group for the first, uh, three groups. And then after that, I cleaned, uh, two more times before I left the range. And each time I could feel that any burrs or rough spots inside the bore were starting to get worked out. Um, and it was running pretty, uh, pretty decently by the time I left. So without further ado, I'm going to briefly show you the 50 yard results. And then I'll show you the hundred yard video of, uh, the impacts. Alrighty, that's a little bit more like it, but again, keep in mind this is 50 yards, so uh, outside edge to outside edge, an inch and a half, um, minus the diameter of the bullet. Still about a two, little over a two MOA group. Um, previous groups were six inches or so for the other one, and. A little under four inches for uh, the second one with the SSTs. Um, yeah, well, I guess we'll uh, cover the targets and uh, take it out to 100 and see how it does. Obviously, it likes the Hornady Black a little bit better. Do one more cleaning before we uh, bring it up again, and uh, we'll see how she goes. So, as you can see, those SSTs were still all over the place, especially the first group. Then it slowly tightened up a little for the second group of the SSTs, and then lastly, I got the Hornady Black at 50 yards. And that was the first semi-decent group. Um, it was still about a 2 MOA, 2.5 MOA group, uh, all said and done. But it was substantially better than anything the previous barrel had done, and I was still in the break-in phase for the barrel. So I figured I'd move it out to 100 yards, and these are the results from my all right, so when we actually take a look at the groups, we can see that it doesn't like those Hornady SSTs at all. Uh, I wound up with a 7.8 inch group for those. The Hornady Black, I had an inch and a quarter group, but I had a flyer that spoiled the group and brought it out to 4.8 inches. So discounting the uh, flyer, inch and a quarter, including the flyer, 4.8 inches. Um, I do feel that uh, the bore was still a little bit rough at that point. When I passed a bore snake through, I could feel a snagging on something inside about an inch from the end of the muzzle. Uh, the crown was fine, but there was a burr or something that still hadn't uh, worked out. Um, that started to go away, especially after I uh, started shooting some of the wolf. Uh, so next was the wolf, and I wound up with a 5.2 inch group. And then I shot a 10 round group, got an 8 inch group. Um, after that 8-inch group, I cleaned and uh, cleaned everything about uh, three passes with the bore snake and uh, seal peed everything up. And then I shot a couple more groups. And I wound up with a 6.3-inch group, a 3.4-inch group, and a 3.5-inch group. And all three of those groups were fired rapidly. Um, I'd say the cadence was probably one shot every two to three seconds. Um, it wasn't a long, deliberate uh, deliberate uh, series of a string of fire. Um, I had some rain coming down and I just wanted to finish it up and get out of there. But the one thing I noticed is the last time I uh, passed a boar snake through, I did not feel that burr uh, catching up on anything. And I have a feeling that a lot of those weird shots or spoilers that I, I was getting previously were related to that. So I have a pretty good feeling that the barrel is starting to get broken and will only go uphill from here. All right, so would I recommend this barrel? Yes, I would, especially for the price. I paid $66 for it shipped to my door. Um, I did have to polish the feed ramps to uh, get rid of a couple of small sharp edges on them and uh, clean up a couple of just tooling marsh, uh, machining marks. But aside from that, the barrel itself was actually looked to be great. Now, as noted, there was a rough spot on the rifling or actually just inside the bore. It did not affect the crown, but it was about an inch from the crown. 
Um, I don't know what it was, but after about 60 or 70 rounds, it seemed like it uh, wore away and accuracy improved dramatically. So a lot of those initial weird flyers that you may have seen on the uh, the targets, I'm pretty confident those are going to go away. And as noted, the wolf just started to tighten up dramatically towards the end. So I'm pretty comfortable thinking that uh, I'll probably be able to get two and a half inch groups with wolf steel once it's uh, fully broken in, and probably MOA are pretty close to sub uh, sub MOA with uh, with Hornady Black. Um, I don't think it's going to be one of those tack drivers that you hear about. Oh, I shoot 0.25 MOA, man. I was, you know, it's not going to be one of those barrels. I, I don't think it will be. But for sixty six dollars, come on, let's not kid ourselves. Do you really expect that? You might get one. It could happen, but that's probably not going to be your lot in life. And if you want a higher chance of getting that barrel, then you're probably going to have to pay eight or nine times as much for the barrel. So I hope this helps any of you on the fence about these uh, barrels. Um, so far, I'm one for two. I had one stinker and one decent one. And uh, this feels like it'll get even more decent. And on the plus side, I got a notification from Bear Creek Arsenal that they received my RMA for the last 6.5 Grendel barrel and are shipping me a replacement. So I should have that here in a couple of days. So hope this helps you guys. If you have any uh, thoughts or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. And as always, if you come to my channel, it's not here. I do back up everything on BitChute, so you can also find me on BitChute. Thanks, guys, and uh, keep your dick in advice.